Hello everyone, this is Gene Daigle from Drone Rise Photography back in my garage studio here. Um, I promised a few people I'd do a couple reviews. I'm not really reviewing them, I'm just showing you guys what I use. So, first thing was the parabolic dishes that I use for my distance. And this is how they come. I ordered a second set for my Mavic Mini. I already have one for my Mavic Air. Um, the reason I think this design works better is it doesn't have a lock here and a lock here and they're they're also taller and these rubber grommets fit really well over the antenna and keep them really sturdy and I just think it's the distance and maybe the curvature but it reflects very well and I've found that these work fantastic and they're by Tozo pick them up on Amazon and I'll show you my Mavic Air setup that I just leave set up all the time because I don't travel a lot like on trails or anything. I will once I get my hips replaced, but for right now, and this is what I this looks like on my Mavic Air. I replace these. I like the bigger, bigger joysticks. And I just leave this plugged in all the time waiting for my phone or tablet. Usually I fly with my phone. So that's that. And I just bought a pair for the Mavic Mini called U Uzopi. But I'm gonna show you something. And I'm sure most of you guys realize this that this case looks awful familiar familiar because it's the same exact bag that my other ones came in for the Mavic Air, but those were Skyreet. And this is the same exact holder with the DJI strap, lanyard, whatever you want, like to call it. I don't use that. It's metal construction. You'll see that. And see it here. It's the same exact mount looks identical so basically it's just rebranded for another company to sell and it's just a, a dollar or two cheaper through Uzopi so these are metal I don't know if you can hear all that take this off oops put it on first The nut is plastic, but it holds really well. I flew the other day with my iPad 9.7 inch, and it's just fine. These are have metal, very tough spring. And let's pull out the Mavic Mini remote. So I always just pull them out, stretch it out. Oh, another thing with my Mavic Mini. I used my spare set of Mavic Air on this because I like the metal, the aluminum better and it's a little grippier. They fit right in there. But the minis will not fit in the Mavic Air because they're plastic and this base piece is thicker and it won't fit in this gimbal. So this, These do fit because they're the same threads and I just prefer these over the plastic ones. Okay, so putting this in, it slides right up in, sits in the grooves, squeezer on, and it's solid. And my phone's filming right now, or I would show you that you can put your phone right in there. It'll, and then the phone, I use it sideways. Now for the tablet, you turn it the other way then tighten it up so it can't turn on you and it's very stable and for these to put these on it's fairly simple you just put them on and I'm doing this without looking down at them so it's maybe a little more difficult you get them started with your thumbs put your fingers middle fingers underneath there and your thumbs up here and you just press down slowly 
and that's how I put mine on. And for the Mavic Air, I leave them on. And when you're holding it at an angle, and you're off to a distance, I just keep adjusting the further out the drone goes. I just adjust forward slightly. That way, as the drone reaches distance, your signal has to keep pointing lower and lower. So I just keep changing the angle. And if it asks me, or it says signal interference, I'll just keep adjusting till I get the good signal. But these seem to work fantastic. I got 4,000 feet more with my Spark. My air was drastically different. It was probably almost double the distance with these on to without. And the Mavic Mini, I haven't really had a good chance to do an accurate test. So, love those. And then when you're done, just take those off, pop that out, set it to the side. One thing I did notice about the Mavic Mini remote, it has little slots in here that the Mavic Air remote does not. So when you take these off, there's a spot for, the, for it to lock right in a little more nicely. I just think that's a much better design. And these clamps seem to be better as well because they stick out as you see. Seems to get a much better grip on the phone. So they have advanced a few things, although there's no USB A right here, which I wish that was still there. But all in all, it's a pretty solid little remote. Very similar to the other ones. One more thing I use sometimes is my little Yee Light camera. I bought it off eBay, brand new off eBay for $33. I'll be using this more on the channel. Right now I have this steel case or aluminum case that I bought off Amazon. And if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know. It just slides in there. It's metal. This does have a quarter jack on the bottom, so it's nice because you can mount it directly to a tripod. You don't need all the GoPro style stuff. And it does 4K, but I would never use the 4K on it. Let's put it on the right right way guys so the 4k is only 20 frames per second but so I don't use that it is nice that this case has a built-in UV filter and then a nice little camera style lens cover so it is kind of nice although you do have to take it out every time you want to get the battery or the memory card out but I'm budget man this was 32 bucks brand new off of uh, eBay so I appreciate that this is my computer it's kind of grubby this is the laptop I use to do all my video editing it's a HP Omen kind of a gaming laptop it had 8 gigs of RAM when I got it and I upgraded it a couple weeks ago to 16 gigs that's why you're seeing more videos out of me for sure um, because I needed that to render any video above 1080 and now I'm starting to render 2.7K and 4K, and this really helps. Um, that's about it, guys. I can't review the stand that, or show you the stand that my phone is at currently hanging in because it's currently hanging in it. I have a cheap $12 light from Amazon off my other tripod. That's the, what the light's coming off. $12 mic on my lapel here with a furry dead cat on it. So pretty much everything's fairly cheap. I traded this laptop for a pair of Danafi. It was slightly used on uh, let go and I traded this for my Anafi because I I enjoyed the Anafi but I just didn't trust it for any distance. Those propellers scared me. The ones on that Mavic Mini seem stronger. I don't know that it just it didn't give me much confidence. The Wi-Fi signal didn't um, it just wasn't there. It, it wouldn't tell you like a level. And that's what's kind of bothering me about the Mavic Mini. But I trust the Mini to come back to me. So anyway, enough chit chat. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.